What happened in the last Masters cannot happen ever again. It's too painful for those who are watching and those who are playing. We need to talk about it and find alternatives to change it as soon as possible. If nothing is done, golf will become a boring sport to play and watch. If you followed the Masters weekend, you noticed that the pace of the game was very painful, too painful I would say. And this didn't just happen in the final round, but in all the tournament matches. We have already talked about the speed of games in another video on our channel, I will leave the link in the description and in the first pinned comment for you to watch later. But after what happened during the Masters competition, I believe we need to talk a little more about it. Let's talk about some suggestions that can improve the speed of the game. I believe that if golf clubs thought about doing this, the game would be faster. To better understand, answer a question, are you happy with the speed of the game at the club where you play? Do you think it could be better? Write in the comments how it is at your club so we can discuss the subject. Click the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Now that you've subscribed to the channel, let's bring you all the details about the pace of the game at the Masters. First of all, I need to acknowledge John Rahm's excellent performance during the tournament. In a tight competition, he managed to finish with minus 12, ahead of two LID golf players, Phil Mickelson and Brooks Kepka, who finished with minus 8. But what caught golf fans' attention was the direction of Rahm's golf ball. If you followed the trajectories of the shots, you could see how the ball moved in the air from left to right. He did this throughout the tournament, and it was already expected since he had worked on this play. At times, during the tournament, it seemed like Brooks Kepka could be the champion, but after a great competition with John Rahm, he fell short. I believe Rahm deserved the victory for everything he showed during the entire tournament. Let's talk now about their pace of play. The last golfers went to the tee at 2 hours and 33 minutes. They took almost 5 hours to play the course before finishing the final round. During the third round, John Rahm and Brooks Kepka talked to amateur Sam Bennett to try to speed up the game, as they understood it was too slow. We can't blame Sam Bennett for the slow play, as it was his first time playing under pressure and media attention. It's a different moment that he's not used to, and he may even start to doubt his ability. To talk about round 4, I need to remind you that golf is usually not played in pairs. The vast majority of tournaments are in groups of 3 or 4 players. So you must agree with me that a pair taking so long is absurd, but they were not at fault. If you watched the Masters coverage, you may have noticed that when John Rahm and Brooks Kepka arrived on the fairway and near the tee, they had to wait. At one point, we saw Brooks Kepka with his arms crossed waiting for the group in front to leave. This happened because both Kepka and Rahm are very fast players, and the people in front of them were just the opposite, very slow players. In front of Rahm and Kepka were Patrick Cantlay and Victor Hovland. Just ahead of them were Hideki and Russell Henley. In front of these were Sam Bennett and Colin Morikawa. If you have been following golf for some time, you may have noticed that some of these names are known for their slow playing style. That is precisely why John Rahm and Brooks Kepka's game became excessively slow. Brooks Kepka made the following statement, the group in front of us was terribly slow. John went to the bathroom about seven times during the round, and we were still waiting. What's going on? What can be done about it? That's precisely why I asked you to comment on the pace of play at your golf club at the beginning of the video. Many people give up playing golf or don't practice the sport due to the long time it takes to play the course. Now I'm going to talk about three situations that can improve the speed of the game, and I would like to know what you or your club has been doing to speed up the pace of play. The first suggestion to improve the speed of the game is to play immediately. I agree with you that this is basic, but if you observe, few people do it. Next time, observe how many people are playing promptly at your golf club. The second suggestion is to play a provisional ball. Let me explain further, when you don't know where your golf ball has ended up, in this case, there could be a mandatory rule that you have to play a provisional ball. Think about how many times we're playing a tournament, and the group in front of us comments that they found the ball, and a provisional ball is not necessary. But when they look for it, they don't find it. In these cases, at least 10 to 20 minutes are lost. That's why I believe a provisional ball would improve the speed of play. The third and final suggestion may be somewhat debatable because it requires investment from clubs and players, and I would like you to comment below with your opinion. The suggestion is that all players should have playing lessons before joining a golf club. 
We know that in some countries, this is already mandatory. Comment if it's already mandatory in your country. I believe the club could provide lessons to all players before joining the club. Maybe the association could cover the costs, but I believe it would help improve the pace of play. If you're a new member, you probably don't have experience and have little knowledge about what to do to make the game faster. A club professional could teach new members where to put their bag, for example, so the game can be faster. Think about it, let's say the flag is in the middle and you hit the back right of the green. Have you ever thought about how many players leave their bag in the front? Play the ball, go back, pass through the green to the next hole. Think about this to speed up the game, when putting the bag near the green, observe where the next tee is. You can put the bag somewhere that allows you to start walking in the direction of the next tee, without the need to go back. We know that often this is not possible, but when possible, doing this will save playing time, rounds become shorter, and games more dynamic. As we talked about at the beginning of the video, and Brooks Kepka himself questioned, we need to think of something to urgently improve the speed of the game. If you like this video, click the subscribe button now to not miss any golf news.